G'day, my name's Nigel Kieran from Kieran Pole Marino, Study at Yeovil. Our focus has always been as a merino business. Everything we do is merino sheep and a um, bit of cattle trading, depending on season. Nine years ago, we decided to kick off Kieran Pole and we started that with a uh, U-base we already had. And we pretty much looked at what it was that merino industry was missing. And the big thing they were missing was fertility, doing ability and growth. And that's what we've concentrated on for nine years and used a lot of um, embryo transfer and um, AI to do that. So pretty much every year we AI three, three and a half thousand ewes and those ewes are joined to about six different sires that have the best data set with the best fleece weights, with the best growth, as well as structural soundness and muscling that we can find. When we started off, Kieran Pole wasn't that big a part of our business, but um, in our ninth annual on property, we um, set an Australian record for a gross on property. And that growth of the studs been very much driven by word of mouth of clients, just um, from their results that they're getting out in the paddock um, and addressing the things that the Merino was lacking in the fertility and growth side of it. This is the third set of yards I've done with ProWay. And the decision to build the yards was pretty easy. Once I built the cattle yards and I seen how well they worked and how well technology worked and modern design worked. To be running a sheep operation without well designed yards these days with what we're making out of the sheep industry at the moment, they're a no brainer. Pretty much all we're doing now is keeping up with the cropping blokes with technology and design and good equipment in the livestock game. If you look at the, um, the investment into livestock equipment in Australia in the last 50 years, it's been minimal. You look at the investment that's gone into cropping it's just astronomical what's been spent. For the merino industry to be a breed of sheep that's going to compete in a modern world, it has to do all the things that the terminal breeds are doing. And to do that, we have to do a lot more work with data collection. We're always weighing and measuring. And to do that in an ordinary set of yards is very time consuming. So when you're doing that in good yards, it's just a whole lot easier job and everyone is not hung up on doing sheep work day after day. So much of our work now is done in a classing box or in a sheep handler or in an auto drafter. So we needed to have it nice and easy feeding. Easy feed into the auto draft and the classing box and the sheep handler as well. No matter what brand of uh, sheep handler that's on the market these days, if they're not set up properly, and we've found this ourselves, you'll be back doing everything up the drenching race, simply because they're put into sets of old yards that haven't been designed to take a handler. So, yeah, I think the design of these yards and the reason why they're built like they're built when it comes to feeding uh, sheep handlers, auto drafters, your scanning boxes, uh, pregnancy and doing your meat traits. It's just so much simpler and made um, our data collection process a lot more streamlined and a lot more efficient labour wise. One of the reasons I like working with ProWay is they're continuously improving design and continuously improving products they use and there's heaps of my ideas that have gone into these yards where they've actually taken my idea and made it better again. One of the great products that ProWay's come up with is the adjustable lead-up races and um, what ProWay have done is designed an easy process of adjusting the race. It only takes about 30 seconds to adjust both races for width and once you get your width set right for the animals and the size of the animals you're actually working with, it just makes the flow into your handlers or whatever you're using so much easier. The reason why we put the two workstations in with double lead up races is so we weren't shifting our gear out of the road all the time. So for the little bit of extra cost, which is just the double lead up race, we had another workstation put in where we could do the pregnancy scanning and muscle and fat scanning without shifting everything out of the road. A lot of our contractors are hard to get. Uh, scanning contractors for pregnancy scanning, your contractors you use for doing muscle and fat scanning, they're doing their dates six months out in advance. And to have a roof here where we can store all the sheep, 
we don't have to cancel days because of bad weather. It just makes everything so much more efficient. The actual yards, you could hold three and a half thousand sheep in here and work them quite easily, but it's, it's not so much about how big your yards are, it's how good your design is, so you're not shifting the sheep out of your road all the time to get a particular job done. We've gone and put the macca catches on a lot of the gates and it's just so easy to open and shut. Just grab the handle and open the gate straight away and the sheep's out and into another pen. Another part of your design process is working out where you're going to put your PA gates, your little access gates so you're not jumping over fences all the time and put as many in as you can because you're always using them. The whole pro weight process was pretty streamlined. It was quite amazing how it all went together so perfectly. It looked perfect on paper and that's the way it went together when in the construction phase. One of the good things about working with pro weight, having everything prefab, when you actually, when your construction team gets on site, it's very quick to erect. From go to woe, you'd be surprised at how quick you can have your shed up and have your yards up and be going. And because it's all designed with um, computers, it's amazing how it all fits together. Absolutely amazing. Like there's no welder cutting work, very, very little in it. One of the big things I come to the realisation a few years ago was, if you think you can't afford it now, I guarantee you in 10 years, you still won't be able to afford it. So you just bite the bullet and put it in and do it. Your payback times, you know, it's not that big. If I put a 20 cent levy on these sheep every time they come into the yards, I think I worked it out, it was only seven and a half years that we had it paid for. And it might seem a big lump sum at the time when you do it, put the yards and shed and do your earthworks and plumbing and all that, but you know, your payback time's not, not that long and you'd never look back and you just endure doing stock work every time. 